After three years, my homemade sink is, well, bollocks. When building the van, I couldn't find the right size sink to fit the shallow cupboards, so I made one. It lasted well considering, but a small leak became a big one and it slowly gave way. So whilst at Paul's doing the sill, towage and everything else, I decided to pile that plate up even higher and build a new sink. This time out of aluminium, using the L bracket out of the trailer and the alley that's left over from the slap head build. Ah, it's all coming back to me now, building this sink first time round. I, um, I couldn't find anything that would fit this gap. Anything that sort of would fit was way too shallow. So in the end, I decided, you know what, sod it, I'm just going to make my own. And um, give it its due, I mean, it's lasted four years. Um, it wasn't built the best. I mean, I did um, seal it all. I, get, I can't remember what the stuff's called now. So as the frame was built, it was all brushed and, and sealed up. Then it was clad in this maroon um, plexiglass, whatever you want to call it, perspex. Um, and then it all sealed up. And it worked great. But obviously over the years, is, um, I've been like dropping stuff in, stuff as the van's moving, as falling, and, and just keeps put, sort of hitting the bottom. It's eventually cracked one of the seals somewhere, one of the joints, and then water's just seeped in. That's then eventually allowed um, the, the base to sort of get soft, and then it's all just started to get worse and worse. I've resealed it about three times. The last time with this really quite bad um, fix because we were in Portugal and it just had to stop leaking. Um, it was like the final fix. I knew I was ripping it out. Um, but the damage had been done and now the, the bottom's completely, completely gone. Underneath is got a bit mildewy. Um, yeah, it's just sort of reached that point now um, where it needs doing. And I'm going to try and recreate this sink basically because this works. Uh, it's not never really been an issue for me. Um, I will try and put slightly more of a slope this time so the water is more persuaded to the front um, and it's going to be made out of aluminium so there won't be any more rotting issues. Right this is um, <laughs> the plug is completely fixed and I think I'm about to blow the bottom out. to go. Oh, no. oh, it's just chewing. Damn it. This is one of the repairs I, uh, I did and that was to wedge the bottom up basically. And as you can see there, that's, uh, that's quite organic. I think I'd have left that in there any longer, it would have developed space travel and, uh, and left the vicinity of my van. Oh, it's squidging at me. Sod it. Resort to type. There she goes. I could have done with that as a template, but never. Oh my god. Yeah, it's basically pate in there. Oh god. You can see it's just sat in this corner to start with there and then just tracked all up the rest of it although this stuff is different to this stuff this is original ambulance a testament i don't know what they used to build this stuff but it just it's well hard is the only way to describe it it hasn't absorbed any of the water this has been flooded before that's a new hole, I've recently moved the thing that's going to get plated. It just hasn't affected it, there's been no swelling, there's none of that, even on this bit that I re-added. Whereas this stuff and that, um, yeah, it's really not taken very well. Now for the rest of this, I think it's going to need a little bit of thought, a little bit of fettling, and uh, we'll just get this out as, as smoothly as we can. Template. Yeah, it's rock solid. And really smelly. Yeah, 
difficult. Bit of framework to get it all locked together and we're in there. Right, we've got the worst out. I'm gonna leave that now to aerate and open the skylights, leave the door open. And Paul needs a hand um, with a few bits. So I'm gonna come back to this later on this evening, I think and recommence the disgusting job of rebuilding my sink. This is Paul's latest project, a new model sprinted to mine, but Paul had ripped out the engine in it because it had blown and slipped a mechanical turbo diesel OM605 in it, found in the C250 Mercedes saloon from the 90s. Proper job, go forever, no electronical shit, vast improvement on the newer sprinter. Amongst a few of the things, I was giving him a hand on this today to get it ready for its MOT. Because of the conversion, the engine no longer had its belt-driven fan, so I was giving Paul a hand fit in the temperature sensitive electric fans that would kick in as the engine gets to a certain heat. Wiring them up really wasn't that bad and we strapped the probe to one of the radiator pipes Then to test it we turned the settings right down and put the heat gun on it. Success there. The exhaust, a bit of wiring and some sensors to sort out and Paul's project is almost ready for its MOT. Which aisle? Can't get in. Fair play, Perspex. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Out. Out you come now. Come on. I'm no longer wanted. Oh, God. Really? We're going to do it this way, are we? <sighs> oh, good morning. Oh, right, that's coming out as well then. Okay. Oh dear. Jesus. Uh, try not to attack the um, vinyl that's up here because uh, if I do I'm going to have to redo it all. So that means taking out the tap and all sorts of shit that I just don't want to do. Oh shit, straight in. Don't hit the vinyl, hits the vinyl. Oh, just thinking about the amount of food stuff. <laughs> uh. well, Semi clean blank canvas. Now I just need to um, make the aluminium angle frame. I think I'm going to drop two bars down to here to support this bit. That bit's going to have like a ledge across it. And then, yeah, plate times five. There's no point using the old stuff as templates because it was so mouldy and I just didn't want to touch it. Uh, and I'm also putting the, the bottom on hopefully more of a slant so that um, water drains a bit better. But yeah, I, I do want to try and keep this bottom area open again. And there was like an area here um, for like kitchen bits, fairy liquid and, and cleaning stuff. Um, that was quite handy storage space to have. So that is going to remain. As much as, as a lad, I believe the deeper and bigger the sink, the better, because you can just let everything soak, aka leave it. Um, yeah, and I do need to, I need, need to stagger the, the space in this cupboard. Surprising, actually, now it's empty. How, you know, you forget how big these cupboards are. None of them had drawers in them when I got the van. Um, they sort of separate them up, but you know, when they're empty, it's, they were pretty handy. With the sink out of the way, I could finally fit my fire blanket where I wanted it. It's been sat loose in the cupboard, annoying me since the 100th fireworks display. 
Yes, yeah, so very much trial and error at the moment. I was thinking maybe like making that section and then this section separate and bonding it all once it's semi-set or to, you know together. But I think the best way is probably to bond the frame in and then cut the pieces to it. So yeah, for right now I've got that one. I'm just going to cut the returning one behind it. I've got the piece for it to all rest on, so to support this side. And I've got a piece to replace the smelly bit of wood that was there where I place my teaspoon. Why did I tell you that bit? This one hasn't quite... I need to take a little bit more there so it sits under there because this lip is where I want the aluminium to go into. So. I've been um, sort of doing what I usually do and take on uh, four jobs at once. Um, so the back end of the van is now hanging off because tow itch. Anyway, 30 mil. Perfect, that one needs to stay exactly where it is. Now, that's 20. Bastard. 22. I can smell. Oh, oh, the curry house has just fired up. Oh, that smells incredible. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, that needs to stay exactly there. So I'm going to stick my bracket in there and try and keep that exactly where it is. To create the lips that all the bottom would sit on, I had some small L-shaped brackets and I nut and bolted them to the angle. I also fixed them to the bottoms of the legs where there's nothing to fix to so that the sink could be screwed down. And this bit, the new teaspoon holder, covered up the tear in the vinyl from my slip perfectly. This one is now where it starts to get tricky. But I can't have that lip there, so I've got to cut that out. Ooh. We're getting somewhere. Let's replicate that on the other side. It's wonderful, Lance. What a time to be alive. Why isn't that bad? Okay, the first paddle. And... <laughs> and it don't fit. Why? There it is. Have you just... If you've just scratched... No, we're good. We're good. How very dare you. There we are, the new first panel. Oh, f***ing come on now. Big old blob. Big old blob. Big old blob. Not a knob. There we go. Oh yes. Get onto the posts. Oh, wonderful. Now I'm going to have to cut it with... Ah, oh, it's got everywhere. So, oh, it's getting too late for this. I'm just... I'm rushing now. I'm tired. Something, something, blueberry pie. Oh. 
Um, um, no, come on. You're so close. Eh. Why aren't you coming backwards? <laughs> Stay there. Oh, f you. Oh, I don't even know what that's doing. Oh, well, that's doing it. I need to measure it. Why have you gone and moved like that? Oh, of course. Of course, yeah. It can't come off that bit. It's got... Ah! That's better. Yes. Yes. What? How has that changed? There we go. There we go. Now move in. You move down. Oh, yes. Squidge. And then measure the living shit out of it. 30, you've got to come back. A metric f***ing ton. There you are. Come on. Yes, and then 20, 20, coming together, 11, 11, oh, 11, 11, oh, <laughs> okay, cool, I'm going to bed. Okay, so all that is left tomorrow is to cut the other wall. Um, and then the side walls, trying not to scratch the original walls. Uh, no, actually that's a lie, total lie. Bottom in first, I think. Yeah, bottom in first, then wall, wall, wall. Um, and we'll have a sink. Most of the next day was spent on the outside of the van, consisting a lot of and it wasn't until that evening I got back on the sink. I got the bottom in first and then cut each wall to size and slowly fit them in to try and not gouge the rest of the aluminium. I had to put enough sealant behind each panel so that it'd ooze out, doing most of the work towards creating a water seal. But on this one I went a little bit overboard, so the bottom of this one would need a bit of persuasion. I like that. Oh, that was good. Still got to clean it, but look how that sits in there. Oh, you brute. I'm well, happy with that. Now, you see, this is why being at Paul's is great. He's got bloody everything. Do the bloody lot. The reason it didn't go in is because I put too much goop in there. Now, I'm just going to go along, press this together. Yep. A little bit of a pop. Press you together, and there comes the goo. Leave that one there. Mm, great. I've had a catastrophe. You just knocked the sink and put water in it before it's a sink. There is no drain. Last piece, and it's always the son of a bitch, isn't it? Now. Roughly 11 o'clock at night. I am starving. Oh, oh, okay, there it is. You just, you just got to find its way. You just got to persuade it is all. We're nearly there. Can I get you to? Oh. I need just a little bit of a smidge off. You're going to cause me problems, and I don't want those. Uh, do you want the hand already? Ah, you son of a bitch. Why? Why are you doing that? I reckon a bit of... Yeah, persuasion. We can get this. <laughs> no. Oh, you're so close, you bastard. Come on. 
whoever that is on my phone, go away. Oh, come on. Where am I going? You are. Oh, a dog. Come on. You've just been awkward for no possible reason. <sighs> Oh, 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 <sighs> yes, <clears throat> do not move, Where's that bit here? and then you, and then what we're going to do is get these little bastards and clamp you like a mother, if you fall out again, oh, I swear. While hungry, come on. <laughs> yes. Right. Just let me tighten. Don't move. Don't move. Yes. The big Brutus Maximus back on. Two little slithers there and there. Drain all. And we've got a sink. Oh, I'm chuffed for that. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but all this material is recycled. So, you know, there is the odd scuff on it. I'm really not that fussed about it, to be honest. Um, it's one of them. Half of it come, well, near enough all of it actually come from the old uh, slap head build. Um, that one panel there was an extra bit. Um, but yeah, it was all leftover stuff. So I was gonna get the drain in, uh, do these strips, all of that jazz, but that's got a set, that's got a set. Um, and I've, honestly, I can't be asked. I'm getting some dinner on. The next morning I got on to fitting the drain and connecting the gray water back up, making the two angled strips on the top and sealing the whole thing up. Seal. Just gotta get that last bit of crap out. And seal her up. And now for my least favourite bit. I'm gonna take that back out. Yeah, sealing, especially in tight gaps like this, really is not my strong point. Some of you might be wondering why I'm using black. Quite honestly, because I don't have clear. <laughs> Plus, I think clear will exacerbate any of the tiny imperfections. Like back here, there's a tiny gap. Which doesn't matter because the, um, the silicon will get it, but um, if, if I did it in clear, it would just sort of magnify that. Yeah, that's not the primary one at all. Oh, Jesus. What the f is that? Didn't think that through. <sighs> I'll probably end up pulling the black out and going for something a little less in your face. But for now it's sealed and I can start building the sink area back up and start using it again. cleaning up of the the, uh, the sealant because I did an apocalyptically bad job at that um, yeah not my strong point at all but as long as it seals 
we're good to go. That is the tank overflowing, bear with. Let's see what she does. I really need to get under here and like just the little globules like this, just get rid of them. But we'll get around to that at some point. Yeah, just needs a good old clean up and a tart. Okay, I've had to stop it there because the van is on quite a severe hill. But um, nothing. No leaks at all. Happy, right, test the drainage. Oh, that's cold. Oh, good, I think. Overflow runs into it nicely. Yes. Oh, God, it sounds aggressive. There we go, another job done. Another thing to keep this van going and not falling apart. And there's a little bit of fettling to do still, but on the whole, that job is, is usable. So um, I no longer have a soggy sink and um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So there you go, if you can't find a sink that um, fits into cabinets you got in your van or you know, you just need something a little bit different, just make one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, don't forget to do the little button clicky stuff down the bottom. But for now, I'm going to get on to the absolute mountain of dishwashing that I've got stored, because I haven't been able to do it. I will see you next time, and I'm falling over. I keep forgetting the bands on a hill. <laughs>